Shalom, shalom. Say this is Rama Shada Menace. Welcome back to Empowering Preeminence Multimedia Productions. Hit that like button, hit that share button, hit the subscribe button. You understand? Hit the notification bell. If you wish to make a donation, you can do you can donate at Cash App and or PayPal and my shout out minutes 777. I have those two links in my description box. And I also have my Patreon if you want to uh get implicated with that. I also have that in my description box also. Um I'm gonna get straight to the point, man. Um February the 8th is the start of a new season of Black Lightning. I'm going to keep it real with you. I like Black Lightning. I like Black Lightning a lot. But as a Hebrew Israelite, as a commissioned servant of the Most High, and as a brother that's been taking the red pill, um, especially when it comes to these women since 2008, you understand, uh, nearly 13 years ago, you heard me. I, I see. I, I see way too many implications, and and way too many installations of gynocentricism and matriarchy, and misandryism. Misandry is like the female version of misogyny. Misogyny supposedly means a hater of women, a person who has a strong dislike of women. A misandrist is a woman who has a strong dislike of men. You understand? So, I see a lot of that implicated in, you know, you, you have a, a girl, Thunder, who's um, a homosexual. You understand? So, so you get, I think you got the first, I don't know if she's the first lesbian superhero or first black lesbian superhero uh, in DC comic history. But that's really nothing to brag about. You see what I'm saying? There's, there's really nothing to brag about because what, what, what you're doing is you're using that as a tool and an implement to promote more sodomy. You're using it to, uh, as a tool to promote more, uh, more hatred towards the Heavenly Father and more hatred towards uh, the, he- the Heavenly Father's uh, order when it comes to... Uh, Marriage, you understand? He he preordained marriage for for male to be with female. You see what I'm saying? Because even science proves that uh, that the male and female produce a new life, uh, especially when you're dealing with something like uh, you know chemical polarities. You know the positive chemical polarity, which is male, uh, when once they uh, correspond or uh, once they cohabitate with the the negative chemical polarity, which is female, they both produce a new life. You understand? So, I, I don't want to get too much into that because you know the you know it's, it's very sensitive nowadays. You know you can't you can't you know speak against LGBT, knowing it's against uh, you know the protocols of a Heavenly Father Yahweh, the Torah. You understand? So be very careful with that. And I won't make it. I won't make it about this anyway. I just want to make it about the the, the the sneaking in of the gynocentricism to where you have a bunch of females dominating. You understand the man? Uh, there's a scene on Black Lightning season three to where Thunder is leading is leading the way of you know the people that live in the woods, the black people that live in the woods. So one of the dudes is complaining, you know, about, you know, where the hell we going? Uh, because he's he's left he's left in the dark. So Thunder, she gets tired of him so-called uh complaining, and so she hits the dude in the mouth. You heard me? She hits the dude dead in the mouth. Now, what if that was a, a brother that was leading the men and women and he has superhero powers? Maybe he didn't have superhero powers. You understand? He was just a leader. He knew where the hell he was going. So a bitch complained. He punched that bitch right in the mouth. You understand? You probably would have had a bunch of women protesting. You probably would have had a bunch of um, women protesting in simps. These blue pill simps. Protesting either in social media. Or, or maybe in, in front of, you know, the, uh, the studio company. You heard me? So. 
so um so yeah it, it's so it's so many other things you know like uh the the the, the fact that a girl Jennifer you know she she's calling her father a liar but when the father was trying to protect her as far as not revealing his true identity as Black Lightning, and and why should he? Because men were supposed to be cryptic anyway. Men were supposed to be way more cryptic than women. Women were not made to be cryptic. That's why the most I have arranged it to a point where every time when a woman meets a man that she's interested in, what, what's the first thing she do? She run her damn mouth about herself. You understand? So it means that she's spilling the beans about herself and that's good for the man, especially if he's cryptic. Cause see now he has the key information regarding her but she doesn't have key information regarding him the bible even says that we should be cryptic towards our women it says in the book of michael chapter 7 verse 5 it says keep the doors of your mouth from her that lies in thy bosom you see what i'm saying what is that saying be cryptic be mysterious be mysterious all right the only time a woman is allowed, according to the Bible, to be mysterious is that, is that if she's a virgin. If she's a virgin and a father is trying to keep her wrapped tight in the household and, and minimize, and, uh, and, you know, minimize her, uh, her social life. You understand? Because you got a lot of jackals out there, male and unfortunately female too. You understand? Technically, especially the female, as far as influence is concerned, you see what I'm saying. So it's incumbent, it's incumbent upon the sisters to reveal more about themselves, because it gives the man the edge, and the man is supposed to, and the man equals power anyway. A woman equals weakness. But another thing that I hate about Black Lightning. Is that you have a lot of females that have power. Like this, like 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 there's a scene, even though Odell was a piece of shit, right? You heard me? Odell was a piece of shit. You understand? That's a tenfold. Message received, duly noted. You heard me? But there's a scene where uh Jennifer, she she she's invited into uh Odell's lair. And she says, if I had my, it, it, she said that if I had had my own powers, you know, to light your, to light your ass up, maybe I'd be creeped out. You see what I'm saying? A woman that has power that's given by man equals validation. And I always say that women are validation vampires by nature. I said women are validation vampires and they are the grim reapers of male reinforcements. In Black Lightning, is like quintessential in articulating the very thing I'm talking about. You understand? When a man gives a woman power, when the scripture says, give not thy strength unto women, nor, nor thy ways to death will destroy kings. That's the book of Proverbs chapter 31 verse 3. And when you look at the word validation, the word validation, the root word for validation is valid. And when you look up the word valid in the Latin, it means strong or strength. So the scripture is saying, give not thy strength, give not the validation unto women. Look how much Black Lightning, as much as I like him, he's still a blue pill simp. Because when his woman was on that green light to, to enhance her uh her creativity, to enhance her uh her 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 ability to be more innovative when he tried to save her for being overly hooked on that stuff what did she do she smacked his brother in the face that's validation why because he validated too goddamn much so as much as i love black lightning man i'm gonna have to say i'm actually happy that season four is gonna be over you heard me for real, I'm actually happy that, that it's gonna be over after season four because it's too much. You heard me? It's, it's it's way too much. You understand? It's way too much for a superhero to 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 take to to get broke down, man, by by some bitch man that that's that's three times less their size. 
You understand? That is crazy. That is insane. So, like I said, you know, I, I, I love the show, man. But of course, there, there, there's a prerequisite. There are conditions. You understand? Uh, you, you know, no show is ever perfect, man. But I can see what the hell Black Lightning is escorting to. You know, they, they want you to believe is a is a uh, is a patriarchy type show because it's about a black dude uh, it's about a black dude who's a father who's supposed to be the nucleus of the household but it's it's a mirage it's an optical illusion that's what they want you to think but but what they're really telling you is that uh the patriarchy is more of a perimeter while matriarchy misandryism and uh what's the other one gynocentricism that's more of a nucleus that's more the the focal point that's the area you see what i'm saying patriarchy is a salvation of the women that's the truth how many times i gotta do videos where i keep telling y'all that christ did not came to save the woman he made it perfectly clear in the book of saint luke chapter 7 verse 56 he said for the son of man have not come to destroy the lives of the men but to save them Okay, but to save them, Acts chapter 2, verses uh, 21 and 22, it says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, ye men, not women, ye men of Israel. All right, so once again, y'all hit that like button, hit that share button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. If you wish to uh, donate, I have Cash App as well as PayPal. I, I just started my Patreon like you know about four or five months ago. You understand? And I'm still I'm still working on the basics, so I don't have any supporters right now. But if you wish to be my supporter for future references, man, I also have that in my description box. All right, I also have that link in my description box. All right. I want to give all praise to the Most High Yahweh, the Father of Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ, pre and post incarnate into human flesh. In the father of Abraham, father Isaac, and father Jacob. And fellas, before I leave, take heed to this creed. Be a majestic transcendental alpha, not a pathetic detrimental beta. Be a majestic transcendental alpha, not a pathetic detrimental beta. And for that, I'm out. Shalom. Peace.